Chinese state media reports radar contact with the plane was lost in Vietnamese airspace. The disappearance of Malaysia's flight MH370 remains one of aviation's most perplexing mysteries. This is very rare. For an airplane to disappear uh, is not normal. Vanishing from radar with 239 souls aboard, the Boeing 777's journey to Beijing abruptly halted, leaving a void of uncertainty that continues to baffle investigators and haunt the families left behind. The airline's CEO saying, quote, we deeply regret that we have lost all contact with flight MH370. But investigators may have given these families new hope as the search technology advances. Join us as we see what these investigators have accomplished. Number one, the disappearance of flight MH370. Flight MH370's disappearance is one of the greatest aviation mysteries of our time. On March 8, 2014, a Boeing 777 took off from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, heading to Beijing, China, with 239 people on board. Everything seemed routine until, about 40 minutes into the flight, the plane vanishes from radar. Just like that, it's gone, leaving behind nothing but questions and a trail of confused air traffic controllers. What happened to the plane? Where did it go? For families waiting in Beijing, their loved ones simply never arrived. It's almost like something out of a thriller movie, but this was very real, and the world watched in disbelief. As the hours turned into days, the search area expanded from the South China Sea to the vast and treacherous Indian Ocean. Initial search efforts were frantic, involving multiple countries and cutting-edge technology. Yet despite the enormous effort, there was no trace of the plane. MH370 had essentially vanished into thin air. How could a massive aircraft with advanced tracking systems just disappear? This mystery sparked countless theories. From technical malfunctions and pilot actions to more far-fetched ideas like alien abductions. The disappearance of MH370 gripped the world, leaving everyone on the edge of their seats desperate for answers. Number 2. The First Night The initial search efforts for flight MH370 were a race against time. As soon as the plane vanished, a massive international operation kicked off. Countries like Malaysia, China and Australia scrambled their naval and air forces to scan the South China Sea, where the plane was last seen. It was an all-hands-on-deck situation, with ships and planes equipped with the latest technology combing the waters for any sign of debris. Everyone was holding their breath, hoping for a quick find that would bring some relief to the anguished families waiting for news. But the mystery deepened when search teams found nothing. No wreckage, no oil slicks, nothing. The search area expanded dramatically, shifting from the South China Sea to the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean. This wasn't just a needle in a haystack, it was more like a needle in an ocean. The operation was unmatched in scale, involving dozens of countries and some of the most advanced sonar equipment available. Despite the incredible effort, days turned into weeks with no solid leads. The lack of clues was both frustrating and baffling, leaving the world captivated and desperate for answers. The early days of the search were filled with hope and determination. Number 3. Eyewitness Reports Eyewitness reports added a whole new layer to the mystery of MH370. People from different parts of the world started coming forward with their own accounts of strange sightings. Some claimed to have seen a low-flying plane in the Maldives, while others reported mysterious lights over the Indian Ocean. These reports were like puzzle pieces that didn't quite fit, but each one added to the suspense. Were these sightings real, or just figments of imagination fueled by the intense media coverage? Number 4. Mysterious Deviations The mystery deepens when we delve into the course deviations of MEH-370. Shortly after its last communication, the plane made an unexpected turn off its planned route to Beijing. This wasn't just a slight deviation, it was a dramatic, deliberate change in direction that left investigators baffled. Imagine the confusion and panic as air traffic controllers realized the plane was no longer where it was supposed to be. The aircraft turned west, flying back over the Malay Peninsula and out towards the Indian Ocean. This deviation sparked endless speculation. Was it a hijacking, a technical failure, or something even worse? 
What makes this even more intriguing is the series of automated signals, known as handshakes, between the plane and satellites. These signals indicated the aircraft continued flying for hours after it lost radar contact, but they didn't provide an exact location. The plane's path was reconstructed using complex data analysis, showing it took a southern route into one of the most remote areas of the Indian Ocean. Number 5. Attempts at Communication The last voice transmission from the cockpit was a calm, Good night, Malaysian 370. But minutes later, the plane vanished from radar, and subsequent attempts to contact the aircraft were met with eerie silence. Imagine the growing anxiety and confusion among air traffic controllers as they repeatedly tried to reach the flight, only to be met with dead air. The plane's transponder, which broadcasts its position, was turned off, adding to the mystery. Was it a deliberate act or a catastrophic failure? The lack of communication raised endless questions and theories. Why didn't the pilots send a distress signal? What could have caused such a sudden and complete loss of contact? These unanswered questions fueled worldwide intrigue. Number 6. Satellite data Satellite data played a crucial role in unraveling the mystery of MEH-370's disappearance, offering a digital breadcrumb trail when all other leads went cold. After the plane vanished from radar, experts turned to satellite pings, those faint, hourly signals exchanged between the aircraft and a satellite to piece together its final journey. These signals didn't provide an exact location, but they indicated the plane was in the air for hours after its last radar contact, veering off its scheduled path. Imagine the painstaking work of scientists analyzing these data points to draw possible flight paths over the vast Indian Ocean, each hypothesis bringing us a step closer to understanding the plane's final movements. Number 7. Suspicious Announcements Official announcements about MH370 were a roller coaster of emotions for everyone following the story. In the early days, Malaysian authorities provided regular updates, but the information seemed contradictory or incomplete, and the public responded with widespread criticism. Everyone was waiting anxiously for news, only to be met with vague statements that left more questions than answers. This lack of clear communication put theories and speculations into overdrive, making it even harder for the families and the public to grasp what really happened. One of the most heart-wrenching moments came when Malaysia's Prime Minister announced that MH370 had likely ended in the southern Indian Ocean. The announcement was based on satellite data analysis, and while it gave a direction, it offered no solace, just a cold, vast ocean where the plane might have gone down. This announcement was meant to bring closure. Instead, it opened a new chapter of struggle and relentless search efforts. Number 8. Ears in the Deep Underwater microphones, known as hydrophones, were deployed to listen for any sounds that might come from the depths of the ocean. These devices were like underwater detectives, listening intently for the faintest whispers of the missing plane's black box pinger. The hope was that these signals would lead search teams directly to the wreckage, offering a beacon of hope in the deep, dark ocean. The acoustic signals were, at the same time, both promising and not so much so. At times, search crews reported hearing possible pings that raised hopes sky-high, only to later determine they were from unrelated sources or equipment malfunctions. This cat and mouse kept the search effort on edge, with each false alarm serving as a reminder of the challenges faced in uncovering the truth behind MH370's disappearance. Number 9. The First Piece to the Puzzle Soon after the crash, the wing from MH370 was disocveered, which was a huge breakthrough in the search efforts. Washed ashore on Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean, this airplane part immediately sparked global attention and speculation. It was like finding a puzzle piece from a giant jigsaw scattered across the ocean floor. Experts confirmed that the flapper on belonged to the missing Boeing 777, igniting hope and renewed vigor in the search. The discovery raised more questions than answers, though. How did this piece travel thousands of miles across the ocean? What other clues are waiting to be found? Number 10. Additional debris 
Pieces like the wing flaps found on remote beaches in Mauritius and Tanzania provided clues into the plane's potential trajectory and final moments. Each find was studied and compared piece by piece by experts who mapped out possible paths the debris might have taken across the Indian Ocean. Each new piece of debris also brings a mix of hope and frustration. For the families of the missing passengers, these discoveries can be a double-edged sword offering potential closure while simultaneously reopening wounds. The challenge lies in verifying the origins of these fragments amidst the vast expanse of the ocean. Number 11. Ongoing efforts. The ongoing search efforts for Flight MH370 have been relentless, showing a never-before-seen level of international cooperation and cutting-edge technology. From massive ships equipped with advanced sonar systems to underwater drones capable of mapping the ocean floor, the search teams have left no stone unturned. These missions, often spanning months, involve navigating some of the most remote and challenging parts of the Indian Ocean. Despite the vastness of the search area, the teams remain committed, driven by the hope of finding conclusive evidence that could finally explain what happened to the flight. What makes these efforts truly remarkable is the sheer determination and innovation involved. Search teams have had to adapt to new information and continuously refine their strategies, often facing setbacks like harsh weather and technical difficulties. Yet, each mission brings new insights. Number 12. Dead Ends When it became clear that initial search efforts for MH370 were hitting dead ends, experts decided it was time to think bigger. The search area was dramatically expanded, covering an enormous swath of the Indian Ocean. This wasn't just a matter of casting a wider net, it involved careful analysis of satellite data, ocean currents, and even drift patterns of potential debris. The expansion was a massive logistical challenge, involving coordination between numerous countries and the deployment of state-of-the-art search vessels and aircraft. But expanding the search area also meant renewed hope. Each new section of the ocean floor brought a fresh wave of anticipation. High-tech equipment like deep-sea sonar and autonomous underwater vehicles were deployed to explore these uncharted territories. This broader approach acknowledged the complexity of the ocean's dynamics and the possibility that wreckage could be scattered far from the initial suspected crash site. Number 13. The High-Tech Search In the quest to uncover the fate of MH370, technological innovations played a starring role. Search teams utilized some of the most advanced tech out there, turning the hunt into a high-stakes game of underwater hide-and-seek. From deep-sea sonar systems that mapped the ocean floor in stunning detail to autonomous underwater vehicles that could dive to unimaginable depths, technology became the searcher's best ally. These tools were crucial in scanning vast, previously unexplored areas of the ocean, providing a level of detail that traditional methods simply couldn't match. But it wasn't just about fancy gadgets, it was about how these innovations were applied. For instance, satellite technology evolved to provide more precise tracking of debris patterns using complex algorithms to predict where pieces of the plane might have drifted. This blend of cutting-edge tech and human ingenuity kept the search moving forward, even when hope seemed dim. Number 14. The Underwater Drones Underwater drones have been game-changers in the search for MH370. These high-tech marvels, often called Autonomous Underwater Vehicles or AUVs, are like the submarines of the future. Imagine drones zipping around deep under the sea, mapping out the ocean floor and searching for any clues about the missing flight. These drones can dive to depths humans can't easily reach, and they're equipped with sonar and high-resolution cameras that send back crystal-clear images of the seabed. It's like having robotic detectives tirelessly combing through the ocean's most hidden corners. What's fascinating is how these underwater drones work. They operate autonomously, meaning they don't need a human at the controls every second. Programmed with search patterns and equipped with advanced sensors, they can cover vast areas of the ocean floor methodically and efficiently. When they find something interesting, they send back data and images, giving search teams vital clues about where to focus their efforts next. 
These underwater drones have brought a new level of precision and capability to the search, making it possible to explore the deep ocean like never before. Number 15. Recent developments. Recent developments in the search for flight MH370 have reignited hope and curiosity around the globe, just when it seemed the mystery might never be solved. New data and technological advancements have given investigators fresh leads to follow. Satellite technology has improved, offering more precise tracking and analysis of the ocean's vast expanse. This has helped narrow down potential search areas, making it more likely that the elusive wreckage could finally be pinpointed. Number 16, from the eyes of the drone. The game-changing moment in the search for MH370 came when underwater drones made a startling discovery. These high-tech machines, equipped with advanced sonar and imaging technology, have been scouring the ocean floor in previously unreachable areas. One such drone recently sent back images of what appears to be wreckage from an aircraft, sparking a flurry of excitement and speculation. The detail in these images is incredible, showing twisted metal and debris that closely resemble parts of a commercial airplane. This breakthrough has provided the most concrete evidence yet and could finally answer the burning questions about MH370's fate. But it's not just about finding debris. The data collected by these drones is being meticulously analyzed by experts around the world. Every piece of wreckage tells a story, from the way it's scattered to the condition it's in. These details are crucial for piecing together the final moments of the flight. The drones have done more than just locate potential wreckage. They've provided a treasure trove of information that could unravel the mystery once and for all. Number 17. Pinpointing the location. The moment of truth arrived when experts finally confirmed the location of the suspected MMH-370 wreckage. After countless hours of analyzing the data from underwater drones, satellite imagery, and acoustic signals, a specific area in the southern Indian Ocean was pinpointed. This isn't just another theory, it's backed by solid evidence, with the debris field fitting the profile of a downed aircraft. The confirmation has sent ripples of relief and anticipation through the global community, eager for closure on this enduring mystery. This confirmation is a monumental step forward. It means that search teams can now focus their efforts on a more precise location, increasing the chances of retrieving significant parts of the wreckage. Families of the victims, who have been waiting for answers for years, might finally get the closure they deserve. Number 18. Analysis of the Wreckage The discovery of the wreckage brought a flurry of activity as experts from around the world began the process of analysis. Each piece of debris tells a part of the story, from the condition of the flaperons to the structural fragments of the fuselage. Scientists are using advanced techniques to determine how the plane broke apart and what forces were at play during its final moments. This forensic examination is crucial for piecing together the sequence of events that led to the disappearance of MAH-370, providing valuable insights into both the crash itself and broader aviation safety. One of the most intriguing aspects of the wreckage analysis is the hunt for clues that might explain any anomalies. Were there signs of a catastrophic failure or perhaps evidence of a controlled ditching? Every scratch, dent and fracture is a potential lead. For the families of the victims and aviation enthusiasts alike, this phase of the investigation holds the promise of uncovering truths that have eluded us for so long. The work being done on these fragments not only aims to solve the mystery of MH370, but also to ensure that lessons are learned to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. Number 19. Impact on families. Imagine waiting for hours, then days, and now years, with no clear answers about the fate of your loved ones. The emotional toll is unimaginable, filled with a mix of hope, despair, and frustration. For many, the uncertainty has made it incredibly difficult to find closure, and they live in a perpetual state of limbo, clinging to the smallest bits of information and holding on to the hope that one day the full truth will be revealed. Number 20. Future Implications Looking ahead, the disappearance of Malaysian flight MH370 has sparked significant discussions 
and raised critical questions about aviation safety and protocol. It calls for a reassessment of communication systems, tracking technologies, and emergency response procedures within the aviation industry. Authorities and airlines worldwide have begun implementing stricter guidelines to prevent similar incidents, ensuring that flights are better monitored and equipped with improved communication capabilities. The incident has also underscored the importance of international cooperation in handling aviation emergencies, emphasizing the need for standardized protocols and swift, coordinated responses across borders. Furthermore, MH370's disappearance has had broader implications beyond aviation safety, touching on issues of transparency, accountability, and the handling of international crises. It has highlighted the challenges of conducting large-scale search operations in remote ocean regions and the limitations of existing technology in deep-sea exploration. The ongoing efforts to locate the aircraft have spurred advancements in underwater surveying techniques and remote sensing technologies, paving the way for innovations that could revolutionize future search and rescue missions. What would you have done to solve the mystery of Flight MH370? Don't forget to like and subscribe.